everybody. So in video 1994, we made this thing as a really low friction bearing by bolting a ball bearing on the points of three ordinary pens arranged in a tripod and it works really well. I mean, it spins for ages as a low friction bearing. But lots of people asked, well, okay, that's really cool, but what about doing it that way? How would you get a go around doing it that way? Well, there are in fact quite a few videos on that. If you remember the magnetic floating pen, you get a magnet arrangement, you take your pen, you put it against a bit of glass and it will suspend in midair and rotate because it's got a ball bearing right there there and that is the pivot, the magnets shove it against a piece of glass and they're really easy to make and they're really popular and there's a ton of videos. Now that can be the basis but it has a serious problem and the problem is when you rotate it, it bounces around and it wobbles. So it's going to be hard to get something like that to be a generator because a generator has a generating disc on it. And as it's bouncing around and wobbling, it's going to smack the wire unless you place the wire a long way away. But as the power of generation is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field, which is proportional to the distance, you want the wire as close as possible. So that bouncing around is a serious problem for that kind of arrangement. All you really have to do is keep the magnetic poles in the same direction. Then you get lift from the magnetic repulsion, try to shove it one way, but it's got a bit of glass stopping it, and the ball in the ballpoint pen acts like a ball bearing or a friction bearing. And because it's such a tiny ball, there's very little friction. However, there is another way of approaching this with a needle. If you take a piece of metal, punch a hole in it, stick some magnets on, put that needle in that little hole, the needle will be attracted to the magnets. Then if you put some magnets on the other side but not touching the needle, the needle will be pulled up into the magnetic field. Now it's really great, but it can't carry much weight. So we have two separate problems. What about if we bring those together? Can we have a solution to what it is that we're looking at? Well, I designed this and printed it out. It's going back to the idea of the ball bearing in the end of a pen. So we got that, it's a clip and I can put a ball bearing in it. This ball bearing is 12 millimeters. And once we've done that, we have effectively a very large ballpoint pen. It's the same structure as this, only a little bit larger. Now if we put that onto a magnet, of course it's going to stick and of course it's going to wobble. So we need to do the same thing we did with the needle bearing, but with this larger structure. So I drew the rest of this up in Tinkercad and printed it out. Now this bit takes our ball bearing with a clip at that side, it just pushes in. And at the other side we're going to need some magnets. So we push that in there and we're going to need some magnets in there. And I've got these which are 5mm by 1cm neodymium magnets. And I've also put a magnet in here and a magnet in here. And they're 15mm by 3mm. And that slide goes in there. That goes in there. And we stick a couple of these magnets in the end here. <laughs> There's nothing holding that but the magnetic forces. And this ball bearing here, of course, it's at a tangent. So there's a very small surface area touching there, just like a ballpoint pen. And so we have very little friction. That will turn with the lightest of blows. There you go. Let me give it a harder blow. <laughs> It'll keep turning for quite a long time. Of course, the main thing I want to do is generate from the wind. So I've taken this final piece. Stick it on here with eight magnets in it. They're north, south, north, south, north, south, one centimeter, three, two millimeter thick neodymium magnets. What we're going to do is blow on here as if it were the wind and then hold a coil up against it and see if we can get it to light an LED by blowing on it. So there's my LED, there's my coil, let's blow on it. That's my ballpoint pen inspired magnetic levitated frictionless bearing in a wind turbine producing some energy. I mean, it is a model, it's a proof of concept, but certainly 
that thing actually works. So an answer to how do you do it in that direction, well, that seems to be a pretty good way. Of course, if we add more weight, we need stronger magnets to carry that weight, but certainly in that little model, I was quite pleased with how that worked. It's absolutely pouring down with rain or I would have taken it outside. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.